If you are not 18 years old, don't watch this video. Hello everybody. My name is Nisim Lopez. I am 40 years old. I am a Cuban American artist and an occultist. I happen to be a targeted individual. I have been unjustly and systematically harassed since early 2011 until now. Uh, I have been pretty much emotionally and psychologically drained. Uh, my life has been destroyed. This secret program of the US government, which is called gang stalking, is carried on by civilians that are recruited by law enforcement. It's a secret program designed to destroy the targeted individual, to destroy him in every possible way without physically touching him. Very ugly stuff. Today, I'm here to speak about secret technology that happens to be in the hands of the United States government. This technology, this secret technology, is so sophisticated and so out there that the truth is that most people are not ready to accept that there is such thing. But there is such thing. Uh, this secret and highly sophisticated technology allows people who work for the United States government, it doesn't matter whether you call it police, Homeland Security, FBI, whatever, it's all government. These people can see on a computer screen your thoughts, what you're thinking, you know? And not only that, they can insert thoughts, phrases, and words into your psyche as crazy as it sounds. I personally call this uh, quantum technology because uh, it's very, very advanced and they don't need to microchip you. You know, most people think that, you know, in order for that to happen, you need to be microchipped. This technology is so advanced that they are beyond that. They don't need to put a microchip in you at all. I don't know if you've seen the film Prometheus, that at the beginning of the movie, you see the android uh, named David that he's watching the dreams of the female astronaut on a computer screen. That is exactly how it works. They can see all that you're thinking on a computer screen. In other words, there's no such thing as privacy. Of course, they don't do this to every American citizen that's walking in the street, you know. They do this to select the people that they consider persons of interest, you know. And of course, to targeted individuals, meaning people that for some reason they dislike and uh, they decide to carry on operations and experiments on the targeted individual. So uh, I happen to be, as I mentioned earlier, a, happen, a targeted individual. And uh, I am very aware of this kind of stuff, very, very ugly stuff. Um, keep in mind, that while they're doing this to you, you know, uh, seeing your very thought on a computer screen, inserting thoughts, phrases, etc., words into your psyche so that you can believe that those are your real, authentic thoughts when they're not. Uh, imagine this technology combined with negative environmental stimuli. You know, you have civilians that are being recruited by law enforcement harassing you left and right, day and night, everywhere you go. In other words, you have no rest, no peace. Plus, you know, if you're a targeted individual, eventually you're gonna break down and you're gonna end up in a psychiatric institution because you're only human. And when you end up in a psychiatric institution, you know, your credibility as a targeted individual is automatically demolished, that's number one. And number two, you're going to be medicated. And everything you say to a psychiatrist, to a doctor, you know, you're saying it to the US government because that's where the information is gonna end up. So this is a very powerful and effective weapon when it comes to destroying a person emotionally and psychologically. You know, you're using this secret technology on you. That's number one. Number two, they are, bomb they are bombarding you with negative environmental stimuli, you know? And number three, you know, the medication that they're giving you. I'll give you a practical example. Uh, there's a medication called Traxodon. It is also known as Oleptro. If 
you take this medication, you know, this medication is supposed to help you, you know, to relax and all that stuff. In my personal case, it did exactly the opposite. It gave me the most violent, I mean, I'm talking about sick, nasty stuff, the most violent dreams imaginable. Blood, you know, disgusting, really ugly, violent stuff, you know. So I was saying to myself, how is it possible that I am having these horrible dreams? So I spoke to the psychiatrist and uh, she admitted that it was the olepto, the, the traxodon. I, uh, she allowed me to discontinue the, the traxodon and as soon as I did that, you know, I was back to normal. So think about that for a second, you know. Medicine, meaning chemicals, combined with negative environmental stimuli that's going on on a daily basis, plus the secret technology that allows, you know, U.S. government personnel to see on a computer screen your very thoughts, you know. I personally think this is very, I hate to use the word diabolical, you know, because it sounds maybe cartoonish, but I think this is really out there, you know, to do this to a person, you know. Uh, uh, they have also a way of, of basically inflicting pain upon you. Like, they can weaponize this. They can, let's say, it's like like hitting you with a remote control with a laser or something like that. And they can cause like pain in your stomach and your ribs, you know. And uh, very important. With this type of technology, they can de deprive you of sleep. In other words, if they want to, they can deprive you of sleep for days. And uh, you will think that it's you, that there's something wrong with you. It is the U.S. government, you know, personnel using this technology on you. <coughs> Excuse me. So as I mentioned before, I have been a targeted individual since early 2011. We're in 2016. Uh, I guess I am strong because I have survived this ordeal somehow. I'm not sure how, but I did. And uh, mentally and physically, I guess. But this thing has destroyed my life. Uh, I mean, that's the truth. Why am I gonna lie to you and uh, you know and say, oh yeah, no, I'm the strongest guy on earth. You know, my mind is made out of steel. You know, I'm a god. No, I'm a human. You know. I'm a normal guy. So they have been doing this to me since early 2011. It is funny, the day I realized that my thoughts were being read, you know, or seen on a computer screen, that's when it hit me. I was like, oh, so that's how they know exactly what I'm gonna do next, where I'm gonna go, you know? So it takes a while, you know, for a targeted individual to actually realize that that is happening. So as I mentioned before, I don't expect many people to believe me because, you know, this is done intentionally. This technology is so secret, so highly sophisticated, so out there that if you say this to your friends, your friends are going to laugh at you and say that you're crazy or that you are delusional, you know? But this technology does exist. They can see your thoughts on a computer screen. They can insert thoughts, you know, into your psyche to make you believe that those are your real thoughts, especially when you're asleep, you know? Very horrible stuff. <clears throat> um, it's, it's, it's so out there, so crazy. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you, you know, I thought, you know, people would be interested in, in acquiring this type of information.